Sometimes you just say that you can't make these things up. We mean it with this story. Suspected jewelry thieves caught in an elevator. Hamilton County Sheriff's deputies found a couple of people stuck in an elevator with more than $80,000 worth of jewelry hidden in the ceiling. WLWT News 5's Emily Wood is live right now in Sycamore Township with the story. Emily. Mike, the owner of Diamonds Rock says this is not the first time his store has been targeted, but it was the fastest response time he's ever had with police and fire both on scene within seconds of the alarm. You can see in this surveillance video the suspects using a crowbar to bust through the glass doors. Police say this is 57 year old Leroy Bridgman who eventually kicked the glass to get in, cutting the back of his leg. The man then entered the showroom to steal jewelry, including 26 diamond rings. Investigators say his accomplice is 61 year old Marcy Young. She stayed in the lobby during the robbery to clean up the blood. As police arrived, the pair tried to leave. They took the stairs first, but could not find access to the garage where their getaway car had been parked, so they jumped into the elevator and got stuck inside on the bottom floor. The Sycamore Township Fire Department had to eventually get them out, with police waiting right there. To arrest them. The owner says he is thankful for those quick first responders. These officers go into it, you know, full speed, head first into it. They come into our building, they're exploring, they see quite a, a scene. You know, they see a lot of broken glass, they see some blood on the ground. They instantly they keep moving forward, they keep figuring out, they put themselves at risk on a regular basis. This all happened around 10:25 last night. Both suspects are facing charges of breaking and entering and possessing criminal tools for that break-in. The female suspect, Young, is also facing two charges: one for possession of drugs, that's heroin, and drug paraphernalia. Reporting live in Sycamore Township, Emily Wood, WLWT News 5. Emily, quite the story. Thank you, Leroy Bridgman. Arraigned this morning, his bond set at $40,000. Young is scheduled to be arraigned tomorrow morning.